Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah. Wassalatu wassalam ala Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Today, during the khutbah, the title was about the changing of the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and about imitating women, men imitating women and women imitating men and about the LGBTQT. And it was here in Malaysia. And I've been fighting this movement for so long now. And subhanallah, today, I don't know, it was like a reaffirmation that alhamdulillah, honestly, look, we have a lot of problems, no doubt. But the fact that alhamdulillah, you know, this is being talked about in the khutbah now is a big thing. And last time I posted something about my wife finding something in the, in the borders, in the bookstore, you know, a gay series about, you know, these boys kissing and stuff like that. And I reported it to the government. I reported to the uh, Ministry of Religion, to the to Jais, to others, and tagged some of the big guys. And alhamdulillah, I'm sure that within, it was like four days ago, I'm sure that I don't think that they made the khutbah because of that. But subhanallah, that alhamdulillah, people are fighting back as at a government level. And the khutbah was strong, that this is not allowed. This is not welcome on this land, in this Muslim country. Okay, this whole changing sex and transgender and all that this is not allowed all right we're not like you know uh, bad this and that no the authorities the correct people but awareness has to be you know raised and alhamdulillah that they did that in the khutbah man it's a big thing now people might say man yeah but they have so many issues and this and that look you need to look at the positives man i say this is a victory today just the fact that people are willing to discuss in the khutbah and by the way, people say it's locked down. No, masjids are open. Not so many people can go like before, but the khutbah is broadcasted throughout the country, everywhere. And I believe it is a step in the right direction. And I pray, I pray that Allah SWT guides the leaders of this country and the ministers to stand firm against this movement. This movement, a lot of you don't understand what is implicated. The founders of the LGBTQT movements are also part of what's called, there's a, a pedophile association in the United States. Okay, that's been around for more than 20 years, man. People think that this is new. It's not new. The pedophile association has been around. There's a few of them. You can Google it and see the Wikipedia articles on it. It's been around for a long time. These people are coming through the LGBTQT movement. You as a parent, aren't you afraid for your child? Aren't you afraid for your child? You know, there was an interesting statement that I saw. Someone was saying that if pedophilia is just, uh, you know, sexuality, then burying the children is just gardening. Then burying all the children alive is gardening. That's what I said. It's, it's crazy. People need to understand the, the destructiveness of this. And that's why the LGBT community is so dangerous in the ideology. And what they're pushing and their fight, their propaganda. Because they open the doors for the next wave of perversities coming. So uh, pedophilia, you know, love is love, doesn't matter of age. Uh, necrophilia, zoophilia. So many things. Zoophilia is already, you know, in many countries now. It's happening. Guys, wake up. Wake up, please. Alhamdulillah that the minister here and the ministry have done this. They've raised awareness. I hope other Muslim countries can follow and have a khutbah. I've been around the world and given khutbahs and seen. And to be honest, this has not been talked about in many places. I pray that they do. I pray that they wake up so at least there's awareness. Some parents are not aware that there is a pedophile association that is pushing propaganda, injecting money, putting movies out there. They've attempted to, you know, what was that? Uh, Cuties or whatever movie, right? That was supposed to come on, 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 on Netflix and then it was kind of pushed down the community. But that's how they try. They just kind of throw something out and they see how this has the community been corrupted a bit after in the last few years or not. Okay, take it back. Then again, they're going to throw another bone soon. So you need to understand how they work. You need to study the thing. You need to understand. So I'm going to post something, a bit of background about the pedophile community and the relationship between them and the LGBTQT community to understand how they're coming in, how they're sexualizing children and so on. 
and how dangerous that is. Parents, wake up. Wake up. You need to fight it back intellectually. Um, your support, your letters to the ministers, to the government to protect your children. Demand so that they protect your children. How do these people infiltrate through? Well, as I, saw, as I showed you, through books, cartoons, movies, series, uh, social media. These things have to be criminalized. They have to be criminalized to the highest level so that this does not happen. Protect your children today. Barakallah feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.